Hello folks, today I wanted to introduce Rome Week. Now this is going to be this whole week dedicated to talking about Rome research. I guess it's a way to catch up with all of the Rome insights that have been fleeting around the internet right now. Today's video will just begin with what videos we have planned, shared thoughts on Rome's new pricing and waitlist removal, and also share some additional thoughts about the future of this space. Now let's give you a little bit of an idea of the lineup. Now the first video uh, which we have planned is a beginner's guide to Rome should give you all you need to know uh, about Rome and how to get started with it. Then we're going to be getting an opportunity to get a really big deep dive, about a 40 minute deep dive with the likes of John Taylor who is part of this community and has provided a fantastic tour of his account and the variety of ways that he uses his notion. Then we have the opportunity of chatting with Rob Heisfield, who is a researcher, um, specifically in the gamification department, and he talks through his Rome account, a very interesting conversation. Then I'm actually going to be taking a bit of time out. Um, I'm going to dedicate a couple of hours in an afternoon this week to building my Rome as if I was building um, my Notion account up and, and guiding me through it. This also was sort of inspired by a conversation I had with the founder, Connor, um, White Sullivan and we talked a lot about the sort of concepts and he thinks that I could but I'm just going to give it a try I'm not going to commit to anything as you guys know I'm a pretty uh, you know tough cookie to break when it comes to apps especially reviewing so many of them and then we're going to have the fantastic August Bradley who's going to dive into how he uses most Notion and Rome together and what his thoughts are on Rome research and hopefully we should finish the week with a tour from Nat, who is very much a Rome expert, uh, who has a fantastic course diving into how he uses Rome. But we'll see because, you know, you, you guys have already been treated this week, well should be, uh, so far. So let's start by talking about that waitlist. So for those who don't know, Rome applied a waitlist a couple of weeks ago and basically now... They're very close to opening the waitlist for those ready to put a card down. That was a uh, tweet that was mentioned by Connor. And uh, they also announced their pricing. Well, they firmed up their pricing. We sort of already knew it, um, but here it is. So the pricing is a little bit steep. I'm going to talk through it at the end. I'll give you the details first. So it's £15 per month, and that's for the standard pricing, the standard plan. Um, that includes up to three private graphs, um, which is something that you get inside you can, or public roam graphs. Uh, that's unlimited collaborators and uh, API access and, and apps, which is pretty good. So they're, they're obviously working on that because it's coming soon. They may even beat Notion to it, which would be pretty exciting. And that would total off at £180 per year which seems a little bit steep. It is, it's quite steep. It's, it's about half the price of Superhuman, and people already talk about that. So we'll talk about that through the end. But they do have a yearly pricing for the standard plan, um, and that is £165, which does bring it down uh, $1.25 um, per month cheaper. Uh, basically gives you a free month, um, essentially. Uh, and they both, both of those plans include a 14-day free trial, so... If you are, you know, looking to get started, you can use the 14-day free trial. Now, they do have this mad thing called the Believer Plan. And this is something that Standard Notes actually has. And NordVPN has a three-year plan. Standard has a five-year plan. But Standard's five-year plan is 149 And they have a five-year plan, which is $500, which uh, is mad. Uh, like, it's just mad because it's a conceptual amount that you have to put forward to an app um, so you'll be charged on a day no trial obviously but you will get everything that's in the standard plan plus first access to features like the offline only that will be coming priority support and community calls within the team with the team members um, and that does work out a little bit cheaper uh, I believe if you were to go with that one that's eight dollars 33 a month so about half price of what you'd be paying for the standard plan monthly if that makes sense so they also have an additional area called Rome Scholars. Now this is really for those suit, uh, lower than 22 years old. Uh, I've I passed that unluckily. Um, but you have to be a full-time researcher. I think you have to have prove that somehow um, or have some financial stresses or difficulties. Um, but it seems like a really nice program to introduce. 
Now, in a tweet, um, Connor did mention about a free plan. Well, somebody asked, will Rome have a free plan? Junior RO and and the the mention uh, from the official account was eventually yes, but not for at least a couple more months. So now a couple of people asked about like if they already have say 14 graphs, um, will they lose access to that? And apparently there will be no loss of access. Um, there wasn't much more clarity on that, but still that seems uh, you know good that they won't delete any of that data. So Nat um, has a course, I've mentioned it before, but you can check it out below. It's Learning Rome. I'm about 40 way percent through it, and it's very, very interesting. He actually has some credits. Uh, apparently, if you're with the course, you get credits um, that can apply to the Believer plan. So it should make it a little bit cheaper, um, but I'll, uh, I'll uh, find out a little bit more and add that below. Now, I, it's amazing to see the comments because it's a real blend between people saying, bloody Henry, that's a lot of money uh, to be put up front. Um, but then also, um, you know, a lot of people actually going, take my money. And I've, I actually saw a couple of the old um, Futurama gifts of uh, throwing money, shut up and take my money, uh, which is absolutely, uh, you know, like you've got fans if, if they're sending those gifts, which is good. I remember the other day, actually, somebody emailed me, um, would they like to buy my Rome account? And I was like, wow, this is mad. The fact that somebody would email and ask that, the exclusivity that they've somehow created with this Rome cult is pretty amazing. Now, before I dump, jump into some of my thoughts on the pricing, um, there is an alternative that we've been talking about. We did a video, uh, and a lot of people like that video, which I appreciate, so thank you, called Obsidian. Um, so we will be doing some more comparison videos between the two, uh, just back from paternity leave and just working out, you know, this all sort of sprung up on us. Um, but we're going to be interviewing some more users as things calm down over the next couple of weeks. I believe Justin DeRose, who has a fantastic YouTube channel here, actually is starting to use it himself. So I'll be jumping on a call with him, I'm sure, very soon. Um, but there's one channel called Notes by Ren that has a fantastic, I believe it's Notes by Ren, I'll include it below, that has a great overview about how um, Obsidian, Rome, and... Um, and the likes of Notion to sort of compare. Um, I want to say Notion, I wouldn't say is, I, I initially started comparing it to Notion, but as time has gone on, time and looked at it, um, Rome is much more of a competitor to Evernote, and I'd say Notion is not as much a competitor to Evernote anymore, just because of the way that it's positioned. Um, but very interesting at the moment. My thoughts on the pricing. Um, now, I always think it's great to uh, have pricing or a premium model because it's the sustainability of an application. But if you compare it to say uh, what was Notion's pricing at five dollars per month, it's triple that. Um, Notion's now gone free, which seems scary. I'm only comparing it to Notion in the context that I would say it does a similar capacity job um, in the sense that it's a life organizer. Um, I'm not comparing, I'm just comparing the pricing here, not necessarily the tool set, because I think they're, as I said, a little bit different, but the pricing wise, it's a lot to pay, but I think people will be happy to pay for it. Um, I think that it's such an advanced tool for a lot of people that they've almost made it and worked out that this is a tool they can't live without. I've seen a lot of people create these very advanced setups, and once you've created these advanced setups, once you've built in this understanding of the tool and also once you've built in uh, the fact that you can use it in such a advanced way it, it's a tool that you can't get rid of um, and that's something that they obviously um, have you know been able to capitalize on but uh, in a sustainable way I think because £15 a month $15 a month obviously will take them uh, much further than they expected. Um, and hopefully it shows and helps them build a profitable company straight away. I'm assuming that's what they'll be doing, um, which is good. And the $500 up front, I mean, if you're someone that is mad about Rome and you know that you feel comfortable with the company, you feel comfortable with using it, then that's an investment that seems a lot, but actually probably will save you money in the long run. Um, give an example if you used it as aggressively as a personal product uh, project manager or a team project manager um you know for example uh let's pick one like say you use like trello pro that's going to be the same price as trello pro 
but it won't change over time with inflation. So at the same time, it, it's, it's a good investment long term if you know that that's the tool you want. Rome's adding a bunch of features all the time. Um, we should have Shu Omi on here on the channel soon to give us overviews on those exact features that are being updated. But it's very interesting space at the moment. Anyway, you probably fed up on my rant. Not rant, overview. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you enjoyed this week here all about Rome research. Folks, I'll see you this week. Thank you very much. 